So can you ever really get tired of looking at wedding dresses? Oh my gosh, no. no. We all want to be a princess, yes, right? That's a and you may love seeing the newest fashions, but how about looking at wedding dresses that are a blast from the past? That's such a good idea. I yeah. love the sound of it. So there's an exhibit at the McKinley Presidential Library and Museum, and it's called Tying the Knot that showcases the different styles from years gone by. And Kim Kenny is the executive director of the museum, and she's here to give us a preview. Good to see you. Thank you. Good this to sounds you. really fun. cool. It is fun. It's beautiful, too. So yeah. tell us all about the exhibit. What can we expect? Well, we have 26 gowns on display from our collection, and they date between the 1880s and the 1980s. So it's 100 years of fashion. Wow. And there's all kinds of tulle and lace and sparkles, and it's just beautiful. Some may say, and we're looking at some pictures here, that you have them displayed a little unexpectedly with no labels, right? Nope, no so, labels. So what is your reasoning for that? <laughs> uh, we wanted to mix up the dates to see if people wanted to play along and figure out Ooh. what the dates were. Um, so we have a booklet in the gallery that um, if you don't, that's not your thing, you don't have to do that. You can just follow along. Uh, but a lot of times people are surprised not just by the style, but especially the colors, because not all of the dresses are white. And you would think, going back in history, that everything was stark white. Right. <laughs> I mean, that's just what you my would. brain does. Yeah. It's the opposite of that, actually. Is it really? Because white wasn't really done until the 1920s. So before huh. that, women would choose just a dress that they could wear again, usually. Well, that was probably they smart. Maybe smart. we should take some of these lessons and learn. Exactly. Wow. Do you find that, that people are coming and maybe pulling some ideas or do you hear them talking like, hey, oh, I, I might want to do this, something like that? Yeah, you know, and, and today anything goes, so it's a little bit harder to understand fashion in the past. It was very strict sure. what was appropriate and what was fashionable, mm -hmm. and it echoed what was popular in regular fashion. So in the mm -hmm. 1860s, everybody knows the Scarlett O'Hara big hoop skirt. That's what wedding fashion looked like. And then in the 1920s, when the flappers had their hem above the knee, wedding dresses didn't quite come above the knee, but they were off the floor for the first time. So it's Dang. really, um, in the past, a lot of trends really spoke to what you were going to wear. Now today, you can do whatever you want. Oh, I know a girl who wore a black wedding dress. There's no yeah. rule. No there's rules. like absolutely no rules. But there's something to be said <laughs> about the tradition. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And just all the stories that are behind these dresses, yes. which is probably what's yeah. so fun about this exhibit. Yeah, we have um, most of the dresses, we know the story. Um, some of them, it's a little sketchy. But if we do know the story, it's in the booklet. And mm. if people want to learn more about it, they can just read the booklet. Do you have a favorite story, one that really pops to you that you can share? Oh, I don't know. There's so many. They're all beautiful. I think my favorite dress yes. um, might be the one from the 1950s. It has a six-foot hoop underneath it, and it's all kinds of tulle. It's just beautiful. It looks like a cake. It was like wow. genius. At the time, they were getting a core workout yes. without well. even realizing <laughs> what they were doing. Right. So many different, like the core right? sets and things change. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it's interesting to see how it evolves over time. You yeah. see some things kept the same, some things changed. Mm -hmm. And it'll be a little harder for people to get that because they're all mixed up. Um, but you can see definitely in the 19th century, the waist is so, so tiny. Oh gosh. You were wearing a corset since you were about five years old. No, that's not healthy. Yeah. No, it isn't. We know that now. <laughs> it does not, not go back to the corset. All. It does not go along with the nachos and M&Ms no. that went down my <laughs> no. last night. So. You know a lot of stories behind these dresses. What about stories about traditions at that time? Do you hear anything about that? Um, traditions are, are kind of, they, they go during the different decades, definitely um, yeah. evolving. And a lot of the things we do today, we have no idea why we do it. Is that hmm. true? It's true, yeah. And so when you look in the history of just about anything, it makes more sense. We do have so many little things, mm -hmm. like the Like, the where did wear something blue and yeah. new and penny on the shoe? The old and new and it all gets complicated. Right? Yes. <laughs> this is oh really goodness. fun. Yes. And I bet your job, you were saying before we started the segment, you have such a fun job. I I'm can't sure believe seeing get, everyone excited. Yeah, and, I can't believe I get paid to do what I do. Honestly, it's so sure. much fun every day. Are these dresses from all over? Uh, they're from Stark County okay. um, because we're also the Stark County Historical Society. Um, you won't see Ida McKinley's dress in the exhibit because it doesn't exist. We don't know what happened to it. Ooh, we don't have it. Mystery, right? Yeah, if anybody out there knows anything, we'd love to know. Huh. Um, so that's what people often don't understand. We are a presidential library, but we're local history too. So it's not pres this exhibit is not presidential. Right. Okay. 
Very interesting. Thank you so much. Yes. You're welcome. And here's all the information so you can go check out the McKinley Museum. Tying the Knot is the exhibit, and it's going on now through May 31st. You can go to McKinleyMuseum.org for more information. Kim, thank you. Thank Good you. Good to see you, yeah. Kim. It's About You is back just after this. This segment of It's About You was furnished by the McKinley Presidential Library and Museum.